What's happening to your man Big Take doing big things? Y'all know what it is. ATL Hawks official DJ and Rap City Forever. You're checking out the Three Point Conversion Radio. You dig? So, Joe, how you doing? How you doing? All right. So, how are you feeling right now? Like, how's your health and everything? How's the knee? Is it bothering you? Um, it's it's been fine. I mean, I just been you know working out all summer. Um, you know, it's been fine, no problem. Um, you know, getting back to you know where I was, uh, and I feel pretty good. In regards to Ben, um, do you do you guys want him back? And is is that true that you guys were going to go on the plane to talk to him and he declined? You guys coming out there? Uh, of course, we want him back. You know, he's a he's a big piece of you know what we've been building uh, the past few years. Uh, you know, uh, obviously, uh, there's a lot of stuff that have happened in a bit, uh, you know, you know, in between, and you know, and you know, I know a little bit about all of that, uh, but you know, that's not really for me to deal. Uh, but the way I look at it is that, you know. Um, you know, we all got to be better. Uh, you know, after after we lost, you know, I you know I kind of try to figure out you know ways you know I can be better uh, so we can win something. Uh, but uh, I think you just got to have some self awareness. Uh, you know, I you know I, I could have done much better than than I did. You know, I turned the ball over a few times. Uh, you know, missed a few shots. Uh, uh, you know, Tobias could have been better, uh, you know, you know, all my teammates could have been better. So you just got to look at yourself and, you know, find ways how to get better. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, that's 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 what it takes to win. Uh, and I still believe that, you know, we got a chance to win uh, with them. Uh, you know, I know it's gone through a lot and, you know, I guess you just got to let him, you know, be himself. Hi, Joel. Amy Fiddle, NBC Sports Philadelphia. Uh, two questions real quick. One, with how this has kind of played out, do you have any regrets about anything that you've said that could have been misconstrued? And two, how frustrating or disappointing or whatever word you want to use has it been to kind of have to go through these back channels through social media? And, and this is not, you know, the first question you guys are talking about is about a teammate that's not here. Huh. Oh, man, what did I actually say? Uh, I don't think I said anything. I was asked a question, you know, what was the turning point uh, of the game? And, you know, I really believe that, you know, it was a turning point of the game. Uh, if if there's anybody that should be mad is me freaking calling Matisse out uh, for missing a freaking free throw. Um, but, you know, we all talk about it. We all joke about it. We know got, we, we know we got to be better. So, nah, I don't have any regrets because I didn't, you know, call out anybody. Uh, you know, I just state, stated the facts. Uh, you know, you know, I'm I'm honest. You know, I can't lie, uh, and that's just me. Uh, so I just I don't have any regrets because I don't feel like you know I put anybody in a situation where you know they had to feel bad. Uh, and uh, but at the end of the day, just like I just said, uh, we gotta have self awareness and we gotta figure it out ways how to get better as players and you know as a team uh, you know i i'm figuring it out i'm not perfect you know i you know i you know even talking about it you know uh you guys always pick up you know those one those one sentence you know even talking about it you know i talked about you know a few plays down the road you know uh turn the ball over i was a big part of it uh you know i missed shots uh you know, we, you know, I'm not perfect. You know, I make mistakes. Uh, it happens. Uh, all I can do is, you know, try and, you know, play hard, you know, the hardest as, as hard as I can. Um, but, you know, we, we honestly, we just all got to grow up. Um, you know, I look at it in a way that, <clears throat> for example, if, you know, I understand, you know, being in trade rumors and all that stuff, like, but that's just part of the business. Uh, if 
I don't know, uh, Golden State came and, and offered Steph and Clay for me. You think the Sixers would say no to that? They got to say yes to that. I, I, I will say yes to that because, I mean, how do you say no to that? So, because that's what they do. They're always going to find ways to get better. So you can't get mad at that. It's just the way it is. Um, so I look at it in a way that, you know, you just got to move on and, you know, you just got to be, you know, you just got to be yourself and, you know, do the best job you can because, you know, that's, we get paid. Uh, to do all, and we get paid a lot of money. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't make, you know, this type of money, uh, but uh, I just feel like it is a business. Uh, it's unfortunate to be in, this, in that situation. Uh, personally, I never really gone through it, except probably two years ago when the whole city wanted me to get traded, uh, even though, you know, you got stuff going up, going up, um, off the court and stuff, but you know, people don't really look at you as a human being, uh, and you know that's that's not fair. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, you just gotta you just gotta take care of your business. You gotta do what you gotta do uh, based on you know what you get paid for. Uh, so um, yeah, but uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, it is unfortunate. Um, I would not like to be in that situation. Um, but then again, it is a business. Kevin, the crossing brought him right here, Joel. Joe, when you come out a couple of weeks ago and you talk about um, shushing the fans and the trade rumors and stuff like that, and you ask fans to be better, mm-hmm. what, what exactly do you mean by that? Are you talking about booing? Are you talking about the human element of being a player? Are you talking about social media assholes? What's, what's kind of like the gist of what you were trying to convey there? Uh, the first thing I'll say about that is that uh, – the fans, they have the right to act the way they want to. Um, you know, I personally, I would not want to be in another city because, you know, I like Philadelphia because, you know, and I'm honest about this, I, I, they care. You know, they come to games, they're going to know, you know, who would you sign? Who's the 15 man? They're going to know everything about the team. Like, they're so invested in the team. So it's only fair for them to you know, be pissed off when we lose, uh, you know, um, be mad. It doesn't matter. You know, I could be averaging, you know, 50 points and we lose, you know, and they're still going to be mad at me. That's, you know, that's just the way it is. You know, they work, they work hard for, you know, the money they make. Uh, and, you know, we get paid based on them coming to games and, you know, buying jerseys and all that stuff. And I'm grateful for it. Uh, so I think, I think they have the right to, you know, kind of voice their frustrations. Uh, and when I just say, you know, be better, I'm looking at it, you know, um, you know, I'm looking at it as a, as a whole, like as a plan as a whole, because, you know, I, I think about, you know, what can happen in the future. You know, I'm thinking about, you know, like whether it's, you know, we have, you know, another, another, you know, max salary open and we chasing after, you know, free agent uh, that wants to come here. But, you know, I'm looking at it in a way that I don't want the fans to kind of scare people off. Uh, and, I, yeah, everybody knows Philly is a tough city. Uh, you know, they love sports. Uh, you know, they're going to tell you how it is. And, you know, I love it. I personally don't have any problems with it. Um, but, uh, you know, I also look at it in the way that, you know, not everybody's built the same. Uh, you know, the way I handle it is different than, you know, a guy that might want to come here. They might not want to be, you know, under that type of pressure because, you know, they might not play well and they might think that that's just not the best place for them to be just because of the fans. So that's that's what I meant by that. Uh, yeah, Joel, Tom Moore from the Bucks County Courier Times. You had a career highs almost across the board offensively last year, but I was wondering how would you assess – your year defensively, and what do you think you kind of need or want to do better this year, regardless whether Ben's here or not? Um, <clears throat> you say defensively? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've always believed that, you know, uh, you know, and you can look at the numbers, you know, advanced numbers and defensive met- metrics and all that stuff. You know, when you look at it, you know, the – it doesn't matter who's on the floor with me. I've always been able to be the anchor 
uh, you know, of the defense. And, you know, that's why, you know, you see guys like Rudy Gobert, you know, he's one of you uh, defensive player of the year because, you know, you know, as big, you know, you actually kind of control, you know, everything because you can see everything. You're behind, you know, all the guards and, you know, everybody guarding. So you're calling out plays and stuff. So, and, you know, as I mentioned in the past, you know, I have, you know, aspirations to become the defensive player of the year. You know, I think for me personally, I just got to be more active, um, you know, and, you know, it's it's hard to do because, you know, offensively, you know, I'm, you know, I'm also asked to do a lot uh, and I don't mind. I love it. Uh, you know, I love, you know, carrying the team on both ends. And I think that's what uh, probably makes me special uh, because I do it on both ends. Uh, but, you know, but that's why it comes in. Also taking care of my body, you know, being in the best shape of my life. And um, because if I'm that, I can do both and, you know, not really be tired because I'm doing, you know, more offensively or more defensively. So I think for me, uh, it's, all, it's all about just being in the best shape of my life and just being active. Hey, Joel Timbantas from ESPN. Good to see you again, finally. Um, if you had gotten the chance to sit with Ben and talk to him, what would you have said to him? Um, honestly, I, I, I would probably say, um, I'm disappointed, uh, because, you know, I look, obviously we haven't won anything, um, but, you know, just with going by, you know, what has been said, you know, through the media and, you know, um, you know, you guys tweeting based on your sources and stuff. Uh, I, I will look at it in a way that, uh, I mean, look at what we've been able to do. Uh, you know, obviously we haven't done anything in the regular season and I got to be better. Everybody's got to be better. Um, but, you know, in the regular season, like, you know, we've been so good and so dominant that, we know it's working. Uh, so I think it's all about, you know, taking the next step and, you know, kind of like everybody just playing up to their potential, whether it's me, him, Tobias, you know, Shake, Matisse, you know, the new guys coming in, drummer, like everybody's got to be on point. Uh, you know, to be able to win is hard. Uh, and, you know, I haven't gotten close to it, but I can say you get to the second one and man, you get to game seven, like it's like, he's so draining mentally. Yep. Uh, it's hard. It's not easy. Uh, but that's something that you're not willing to do. And I think my teammates are also willing to do. So I think it's all about, you know, everybody playing, you know, up to their potential. Just, just to be clear, when you say you, you're dis, you'd be disappointed or you are disappointed, what, what are you disappointed in? I'm disappointed in the fact that, <clears throat> um, we've seen the results. We know our days. We know our looks. We win. Uh, we all win us. Uh, it doesn't matter if someone is averaging 40 points. It doesn't matter if, you know, someone is coming off the bench is averaging two points. Uh, I think at the end of the day, everybody wins. Uh, when you win a championship, you know, guys, I, I, everybody's going to get paid. Whether it's me, whether it's, you know, Matisse, Shake, like guys coming off the bench, the new guys and stuff. Uh, so I think winning cures everything. Um, so we've been able to do that in the regular season. So I think he, I think it's been time and it's time to take the next step. And I hope that, you know, it really changes his mind, uh, because, you know, uh, you know, if I didn't like playing with him, you know, I'm honest, I would, I would say, it. uh, but I do love playing with him because he, he adds, you know, so much to our team. Uh, you know, we've been building this thing around us, right? Like, it's not, I don't say it as like. This is my team. I don't care. I don't care about any of that. That's right. has nothing to do with me. I'm not trying to 
live in a spotlight. You know, I got my family. I'm private. Like, that's not me. Like, I'm just trying to play basketball and have fun. I'm, I'm not trying to harp on this. I just don't want it to get taken out of context. You, yeah. Are you saying you're well, disappointed? Yeah, well, when, are you y'all say- put, when y'all put it out there, y'all, put, y'all better put the are you saying? Because are you di- I'm sure you guys are probably put already, oh, he's disappointed and just well, keep I, it that's why that I'm, way. That's why I'm trying to, are you yeah. disappointed that, like, the situation is that yeah, where yeah. it is now, like, that he's yeah. not here? Yeah, that's yeah, what you're yeah. disappointed I'm, about? I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed uh, that, you know, when this situation is, uh, uh, I don't think I don't think it's fair. Yeah, there's you know stuff that could have happened in the way. Um, you know, whether it's you know, uh, I'm sure uh, coach has mentioned you know, kind of put the context of you know what he was trying to say and what he was trying to communicate. I know you know as probably you guys said uh, maybe my comments have something to do with it, which I don't think it is because when you look at when you listen to the whole court, he has nothing to do, you know, with, you know, calling anybody out. Uh, so I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm just disappointed that, you know, he's not here uh, because he knows it too. He knows we can win together. Uh, I think uh, we just, I think we just all as a whole, I think, you know, a few of us have complained about the fans, you know, as a whole, we just need to just not care and just play better uh just play our game yep. it doesn't matter sure people are gonna go out there and tell you know how many people have told me that oh don't shoot threes every single time i'm shooting through this year i'm thinking about freaking shooting more threes i'm i, I don't care because that's what's gonna help the team like yeah. last year i thought you know why didn't help us a lot uh, is that we didn't shoot a lot of threes uh you know people might have you know different views on that but I think it goes a long way. So that's something I'm going to do. If, you know, you want to, because you're not comfortable doing so, then don't do it. And in this situation, he does so many other great things uh, for the team that is not really needed at times. You know, at times he might be, but he's not really needed because, you know, defensively he's a monster and then offensively he creates so many open threes. Yep. Hey, Joel. Uh, Paul Hudrick, Liberty Ballers. Uh, last year, you talked a lot about um, taking care of your body and, you know, you, you hired a dietitian and everything. And mm-hmm. are, are you feeling more the effects of that as you're going into this year? Are you starting to kind of, I know you said it was a process before and it's going to take some time, but are you starting to feel better because of that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, even when you look at last year, uh, you know, I, I, I stay healthy. Uh, you know, and, you know, there's been, you know, freak accidents uh, and it happens, you know, we are uh, worried where to land and, you know, that caused, you know, my knee uh, to swell up. Uh, but, you know, thankfully that was nothing. Uh, so I think it does work. And, you know, you, you saw the year I had last year. Uh, now I need to take it to the next level and be better so we can win something. Dan Galston, the Associated Press. Doc Rivers, Doc said before last year, he was trying to get you and Ben to do things more together, mm-hmm. like off the court. Did that ever really materialize? And how would you describe your personal relationship with Ben? Uh, it did. Uh, I mean, uh, I think last year we were closer than ever, uh, than ever before. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, you, know, um, you know, as far as, you know, I, I don't go out. And, you know, I, I'm, you know, I should stay with my family and all that stuff. I'd rather stay home or, you know, on the road or play video games and all that stuff. Uh, you know, we had, you know, as a team, we had a few, you know, team dinners, which uh, is something that we need to do more of. Uh, but, I, but I believe that, you know, our relationship was much closer than ever before. Back here, Joel. Uh, Noah Levick, NBC Sports Philly. Uh, you've talked in the past about how you love when Ben's aggressive, how you love when he mm-hmm. shoots when open. Uh, if he does end up returning to your team, what specifically do you want to see from him on the court this season? Um, I mean, I'm sure we all seen videos. Um, so, man, that will help because uh, he has that potential. Uh, you know, he has that potential to be uh, that good. Um, so, um, I mean, and you, we know what he brings in, you know, defensively, even without that, uh, 
uh, offensively, you know, um, he just creates, you know, a lot of shots uh, for many uh, three-point shooters. Uh, and then offensively, I think, you know, something uh, he's got to focus on, uh, especially because, you know, I, you know I, I post up a lot, uh, you know, and he's in the dunker. I think, you know, something to focus, that he can focus on is also, I think he can be a monster on the offensive rebound because there's so much attention on me uh, that, you know, most of the times, you know, but all the time they're really sending double and triple teams on me. And I feel like there's, he always has a mismatch, whether it's, you know, me playing high low and passing the ball or, you know, if I end up shooting it, I think there's an opportunity to grab, you know, way more offensive rebounds uh, than, uh, than he has been uh, in the past. So I think, you know, there's a few ways we can get better, but it's not all on him. Uh, you know, like, like I, like I keep saying, like I, I gotta be better. I mean, you go back to, you know, game seven, uh, you know, I turned the ball over, uh, a few times, uh, you know, I missed a couple easy shots. Uh, what was it? Game, game four. Uh, I missed the game winning open layup, uh, the game winning layup, uh, Game six, I was just, I, I just had a, I had a really bad game up in game six. Game four, I shot 0 for 12 uh, in the second half. Uh, so I, I got to be better. So that can't happen, especially if these guys are going to count on me uh, the way they do. Thank you. Come on, how are you? 